Figuring out the shooting schedule for a feature film is a real challenge, and especially when you're doing this as an indie film, unlike the Hollywood productions which have a lot of money and can afford to hire the actors and uh, tell them what schedule the actors are going to be working on, often when you're making a feature film and you can only compensate the actors a very, very small amount, um, I try to be as flexible as I can be toward the existing schedule that the actors already have. So we're making Professor Tom Foolery Saves the Planet this January, um, so we're about a month away from when we begin shooting. And I've emailed all of the actors, almost all the actors, and asked them what their schedule conflicts might be for January. Some of them are in rehearsals for other plays, and they're going to be rehearsing at the same time that we'll also be filming the movie. Um, plus some of them have other commitments as well. And so for those actors who responded back to me, um, I blocked out on my schedule conflicts. So I printed out a schedule for January, I brought the conflicts and I wrote down the name of the actors and the dates that I know they're not going to be available. <clears throat> I decided I wasn't going to start until the middle of January just because I need another month to prep this show. Uh, this film, we're creating all these costumes, plus there are lots and lots of props, uh, and we'll be dressing the set. So there's a lot to do in the next month before we're ready to film. However, it does mean that I need to get a schedule, and if I tell all the actors the schedule today, right now, then they are on notice that this is when we're going to be filming, and if, it think if conflicts come up in their life between now and when they're supposed to be filming, then I'm going to hope and trust that they will find a way to uh, get out of those other conflicts. Right. So, uh, the first thing that I do is I print out the entire script with each scene on a separate page. In this particular case, Tom Foolery has 125 scenes. It's a lot of scenes. Um, and there are quite a number of actors. So then with each one of the scenes, I also did a spreadsheet, and across the top here is the list of all the characters that are in Tomfoolery. And then running down on the side are all the scene numbers, and I uh, put a little Xbox in the grid to verify which scenes they're in. Um, I did this to make sure that I don't mess up and that I don't fail to schedule someone to be working on a day when we're filming. That would be very unfortunate. <clears throat> So then, um, I take all of the scenes and I lump them according to the location that we're going to be filming in. So in other words, uh, this day is going to be inside the Gentleman's Club, and so all of the scenes that take place inside the Gentleman's Club, I think there are about five of them, would be filmed on this one day. And there are only four actors who appear in this particular scene, in, these, in this location, so all four actors are going to be working on that day. Because it's a simple setup, just one location, only four actors, I went ahead and I scheduled that first. So starting out January 16th, the very first sh day of shooting, we're going to be on an interior shoot with four actors. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not in any of those shoots because I'm also acting in this movie and I'm not in any of those scenes. So that's easier for me to kind of work out any glitches or bugs as things are going along. Anyway, I then went through and uh, broke down all of the remaining scenes into individual locations. There's exterior city streets, there's exterior forest, and the forest, we're in the forest a whole lot. Um, but there are different actors who are working on different scenes, and so obviously I can't film all of the forest scenes on one day. So I combined it so that the actor is only working one day, putting all of their scenes together if possible. Uh, for instance, uh, the one of the leading characters has got a wife, and so she films only on one day. Um, I was also looking at Saturdays and Sundays in terms of having group scenes, because we need lots of people in some of these scenes. And so I would schedule those on a Saturday or Sunday, assuming that other people would be available on the weekends, much more likely to be our atmosphere folks. Um, if you'll notice, on some of these days, there are a whole lot of pages, a whole lot of pages to film in one day. Now, the Hollywood standard is to film about three pages a day for a Hollywood feature film, and if it's a big action film, they may only film half a page in one day if there's a lot of action and so forth. Um, I can't afford to do that on this film because if you look on my spreadsheet here, which I'm printing out for you, I then marked the days that everybody is working, basically, um, and there are a total of 29 actor days on this film, meaning uh, an actor, never mind, 29. If I were able to pay each actor $100 for their day, I mean $100 for eight hours of work is uh, not quite minimum wage, uh, but if I were able to compensate them for their expenses, $100 per day, that's $2,900. 
So right there, and that's not compensating me at all in any way whatsoever. That's just compensating the actors. Um, that's two thousand nine hundred dollars, and it's it's really hard to make a movie without spending that kind of money. Um, and it's very, very difficult to ask actors to donate their time to a film. So, uh, at this point, we need $2,900 to pay all of these actors a month from now for making this feature film. Um, also, meanwhile, by the way, uh, Becky DeLong and I have been going out and finding costumes, and I'm at about $180 in costume expenses so far to this point. We have a graphic designer who's going to be doing all kinds of wonderful graphics for us, and I have a musician coming on board who will be doing all of our underscoring, and so, of course, obviously he needs to be paid as well. So, please, I hope that you will consider contributing to get this film made. Uh, send your money directly to me. If you go through Indiegogo, they're going to take 10%, and that's horrible, terrible. Uh, I would rather that your contribution go more toward making this film and compensating these actors who are doing the hard work of making the movie. So if you'll go to Paul at paulbrightfilms.com through PayPal, you can use your bank card there, and uh, I will definitely send you an email back immediately confirming that I've received that, and there are also perks that I'm offering. Uh, you get copies of the movie in advance, copies of the script, uh, the soundtrack to the film. It all depends on the amount of money that you donate. So please, please donate to this film so that we can get this made, and these good, hard-working folks can be compensated at least a stipend for their time. Thank you.